Welcome back. It's Lionel, tech lead and partner at West Vault. And today I have a new series called Code Like a Pro, basically a PHP Pro. Um, I got this, if you guys uh, go to the link below, that I was recently on the Nick um, podcast and uh, we were talking about the recent censorship, uh, the uh, parlor being kicked out of AWS. And then we talked about PHP 8 and some of the revolutions that have happened in the language. And what I realized, right, was that a lot of you guys, I mean, Nick is a um, seasoned software developer. He does swell. And he still had this preconceived notion that PHP was your father's language, that it didn't do validations. It didn't do, um, you know, model relationships very well. You had to code it by hand without frameworks. And that made me realize that maybe even though I've been running a channel and talking about PHP, that we should really get more into the nuts and bolts of PHP. So uh, we're going to start that new series right on today, just after this. Uh, at the same time, right, stay tuned during this video. I'm still doing the giveaway, the Razer Basilisk giveaway. In fact, it just arrived today. There it is. Look at that, right? This thing. I'm still trying to get some uh, extra comments on the video to give out to. So what I've done is that stay tuned during this video, anytime during the video, I will give out some additional hints on how you can increase your chances to actually win these, this, this mouse over here, okay? I'll tell you later on. So today we're gonna do uh, one of the first point uh, of the new series, which is code PHP like a pro by a tech lead. And the topic will be using the ORM. Let's get on to it. Okay, so here we have a list that I've generated on MySQL using a uh, program called Faker. And you can see that there is a name, email, and ID. This is from my previous project called Beacon. And this is just basically a list that I have created just to illustrate to you um, all the roles inside the uh, MySQL. So moving forward, what I'm going to do is let's pop on to um, my PHP my admin. PHP MyAdmin is a go-to soft piece of software. Even pros use it. I can tell you, I've looked around, there's not many alternatives. Especially if you're using PHP, it's just so simple, just so directly to the line. So I'm just gonna pop down here and go into links. So links is the uh, table that I'm actually working with. And you can see here in the back end that this is the exact table that we're working with. And I'm going to insert a row. And I'm going to show you exactly what raw MySQL looks like, okay? And how difficult it is to work with, how ridiculous it is if you go around and say, hey, you have to learn MySQL, you have to do this in MySQL command. SQL is not the world's most user friendly language. And here we go. Uh, here's a command that insert into blah, 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 really, really long in the command, right? And I'm just going to illustrate to you what um, SQL is going to do. I'm going to insert it over here. This was what I did previously. My warm up. This is actually the second time I'm doing this because uh, the first one's actually recording the wrong screen. So take a look at it, right? You've got your columns, you've got your values, you've got them all in strings, you have to set them. And let me show you what happens, right, when you work with this and you insert the wrong number of columns or the wrong type of variable, um, especially inside this list. So this is the raw SQL in a statement, right? Okay. And we're going to pop over uh, a little bit into the uh, coding of how we're going to actually do this. And I'm going to show you uh, what happens when you insert things wrongly, when you insert things incorrectly, what kind of errors you can see happening over here. So now this is the statement that you just saw. What I'm going to do, right, is just change one of the commas, right? And there you go. 
SQL actually complains. MySQL says, look, there's a problem there. Let's try removing a column, okay? So same thing, I just remove the column. There you see, again, it complains not enough columns filled. What if you have now values? What if you forgot to put the value? You'll be spending hours and hours debugging this uh, MySQL statements, right? It's very difficult. Uh, what if it's not a string used instead an integer? Would that be okay? What would happen to MySQL? <clears throat> so there you go again. It makes a complaint. It says that uh, the syntax is wrong. It's spending all this time. So uh, the question you're going to be asking is, why even bother to do this? Why not just handle this on the framework level side? And that's what we're going to do right now, right? I'm going to pop over to um, my IDE and I'm going to use the um, framework system to actually create it in an ORM. So Y2's ORM is called Active Record, very easily explained. It's in, uh, and you can see what happens here is that we create a customer and then we insert a value into the variable of the customer and we save it. That is just so simple, okay? <clears throat> so below you can see the command there. And what I've done here on top, let's command this one out. I've done this previously to generate that faker data. So I'm just going to copy this. Okay, just put it over here. And you can see at the last part, I've just putting a um, command to check any errors. But essentially, it's creating a new link, adding name, email, user ID, and type. And also uh, going one by one. And the kind of, like, I, I don't have to insert in strings. I don't have to bother about variables. I am just simply going to key them in here in PHP. You're not even seeing a single line of SQL down here. And I'm going to run this command over here. Okay, this relates to the link model, and uh, we're not going to cover this in this um, uh, video, but basically this is the active record class that handles everything. We have rules, attribute la uh, labels, all the magic is happening in here, and this is built straight out of the da uh, database. So I'm not going to bother too much about that. We're just going to run this code over here, okay, and with the print R to show me the errors. And we're going to pop off into the channel, um, into the page, and actually take a look at what happens to the code. So here's the page with a whole bunch of my commands here. I'm going to delete all the other fake records so you can see that it actually inserts inside it. Okay, use that simply. And let's reload the page. Okay, I'm going to comment. Three tips on how to win that razor mouse, right? That is right over here, okay? And I saw the comments. Let's do a few things first. Number one, it has to be funny. It has to be a joke, okay? That's the command section. Don't make a statement. Don't make a, a pointer down there. It has to be funny. Point number two, guys, is it has to be pro PHP. PHP is getting smacked all the time, right? All over the internet, these guys are just laying into PHP. Make it pro PHP. Don't say PHP people can't see sharp. No way, we can see absolutely sharp. I've got x ray vision, all right? So be pro PHP, okay? Or at least neutral. Okay, third point down there, right? is talk about the benefits of the language. Something cool, be cool about it. <laughs> Don't make something like, what is PHP? Oh, I like PHP. Yes, I know that's pro, but that's not a benefit and that's not a funny comment, okay guys? So I'm gonna give another two more weeks. Just go ahead, come on. I've seen some cool stuff. Like, let's, let's get a cool comment, all right? Good luck with the, cha the challenge and the giveaway and back to your uh, Lionel in the tutorial. Command this out first so that you know I actually deleted everything. This isn't, isn't preset. And it's all empty. 
So now I'm going to uncomment this, right, with the faker. And now we're going to generate a row. And there you can see it, Antonio Blender, rodriguez.jordan at gmail.com. That's a fake address, so don't bother sending any email to him. But you can see I've generated and inserted a row with no SQL. And this is what the pros do, okay? What's key about this is that there's no strings. I'm not playing around with strings. I'm not playing around with integers. I'm using the ORM. I'm sticking with PHP. So this is a key part about how you can generate cool code by sticking with the PHP. And this is what pros do. We generate code quickly, efficiently. It's not about um, you know what being artistic. It's all about creating that value. And then on the top there, right, I've given another example where I've decided to remove the email column. And you can see on top that it's complaining that email cannot be blank. It's much more descriptive. If I were to run this with the debugger, it would be even better. But basically what I've done, I removed the email column and the ORM complained that I did not fill in the email column. So very simply, I just have to go and remove this comment out and we are back in business, okay? So again, how simple it is to have these problems here. If you were to use this uh, with MySQL LI or one of the command line, right? You would have to do it in this way. You would have to go and check your problem with the MySQL side. This one, you won't get this kind of issue. And that's what being a pro is, right? You want to generate code that's efficient, that's easy to debug, and with as little steps as possible. You can see the, the code is clean. Unlike this string that's below, how many lines did I use? I use five. If I've got four columns, I might write four. I might even have now columns, which I'll show you later on in another video how to handle. But this is one of the key aspects, especially when I work with my devs, right? that we use the framework power of the active record. We don't do SQL, we don't do it hard coding. And you can see that the limit amount of problems that you can have, right? You just go in there, remove it, and you get the solution. You get the code running smoothly. So that's really all there is to be uh, said about ORMs. I highly recommend everybody try to use them, especially uh, the way that code has been done in uh, 2021, especially with the frameworks. A lot of people still think about SQL injections. They talk about um, all the errors with SQL. Doesn't happen anymore. If you're using a framework and you're a professional and you're coding professionally, you use the ORM. So here I'm showing the example of the integer warning again. <laughs> Everybody always complains about PHP in terms of the types. Oh, you know, you can't put, how does PHP protect you against an integer? This is the solution. So again, what, what I would recommend is, now I'll talk a lot about this, about E2, but this is not restricted to E2. In fact, uh, Laravel has exactly the same thing. It's a little bit more artisan called, it's called Eloquent. So let me just go over to Mr. Google here and uh, do the Laravel ORM. And here it is, eloquent, eloquent, you know, those people don't speak English, whew. But let's take a look at insert. And as you can see there, right, it's exactly the same. New flight, flight name, flight save. Exactly the same syntax. So this is not just limited to uh, the E2 framework. It actually extends out to other frameworks. And the, it's very similar. I've looked at a few of them. Um, mainly, I'm specializing in E2 and Laravel, right? And I can tell you that that that's exactly the same. L Laravel is a little bit more convoluted. <clears throat> Some of the things are a little bit different. You can see um, the E2 framework uh, is a lot more simplified. Uh, you know, they don't really try to be very fancy about.